Grand Junction is a pretty cool place, except for when it gets too hot in the summer. So here are 10 day trip ideas to get away from Grand Junction for the day. If you're looking for the 10 best hiking trails within an hour of Grand Junction, well then be sure to subscribe or click the link in the corner above. First up we have the town of Uray, located on Highway 550. You can spend your day here checking out its iconic Main Street, the waterfalls around it, you'll see most of them on the perimeter trail, hiking the mountains around it, my favorite one being Sneffels, or just chilling in one of the hot springs. You can also check out some of the 4x4 trails around it, or go up the Million Dollar Highway to check out some great views or fall colors in the autumn season. The next place we're talking about here is Grand Mesa, and Grand Mesa sits above the town of Grand Junction at about 10,000 feet, and it's a really cool area to check out. There's a ton of lakes and hiking to do up here and fishing and camping, and it's just a nice place to cool down. If you're looking to get away and really see no one, then a nice place to check out would be Northwest Colorado, like the Rangeley area. Here you're close to places like the Dinosaur National Monument, some more wild horse herds out here, and some really unique canyons here, like going just over the border to Fantasy Canyon. Closer to town, you're gonna to find the Dominguez Escalante area. And here's a great place to hang out, whether you're gonna float down the lower Gunnison River, or just gonna go in and do some backpacking. Or you'll find some petroglyphs, some old ruins, and some amazing waterfalls and pools to hang out in. All right, now we have the town of Telluride. Yes, it has that iconic Main Street where you can find anything to eat or drink or something to do, but there is a lot to see and do around this town, like taking the free gondola, going off-roading in one of the many trails around the town, hiking to some of the beautiful destinations around, like Bear Creek Falls or Mystic Falls, or just going to check out the Bridal Veil Falls, which is probably the most iconic waterfall in the state of Colorado. Also, an easy 4x4 route to do would be Last Dollar Road, and it's a great place to check out the fall colors. If you want to see a video with more information about this area, the Tyler Ride, Uray, Silverton, San Juan's area, then click this video in the corner. Or be sure to subscribe as it's coming out soon. I make videos not just about this, but almost every area in Colorado or every single thing to do, such as the waterfalls or the hot springs. Or check out my map, link in the description below. One of the nice things about living in the Grand Junction area is that in the warmer months, you have easy access to the back way to Crest Butte, and that is to take the highway up to Paonia and past, and by the reservoir, take the county road over Keebler Pass. In the fall, this is one of the more beautiful drives in this area, in my opinion. You're going to see fall colors everywhere, and it's also a great drive to take in the warmer months. You're going to find a lot of hiking and lakes and just good views around this area. And the town of Crested Butte is a cool town to check out as well with its colorful and iconic main streets and the wildflowers all around. Black Canyon of the Gunnison is another great place to check out and spend a day exploring. Whether you're just checking out the many viewpoints of this deep, massive canyon and painted wall or hiking down into it. Of course, I got to bring up the Moab area with all its beautiful arches and needles and off-roading and activities on the river. It's a really cool place to check out and you're not too far away. But in the warmer months, taking the back way can be really cool, like going to the town of Gateway and taking the dirt road next to the LaSalle Mountains. You're going to find a lot of different views there. Next, we have the Glade Park area. Now, of course, you can go check out the National Monument, very beautiful area with a ton of views and outlooks and stuff like that. But going farther behind the National Monument, you're going to find cool stuff like the Little Dolores Falls, or as some call them, the Potholes. You're also going to find Rattlesnake Arches, which is the second largest grouping of arches in the United States, just behind Arches National Park. And there's a ton of arches to see on this little hiking area. But you're going to find a whole lot more adventure in this area, like this giant alcove. Last, we have the town of Ridgeway. Now, most people just drive through this town as they're going to Uray or Telluride, but this area has a lot to offer. This is where the original True Grit was filmed. You can see some of that while you're going down the Last Dollar Road, which is also a nice, easy back road into Telluride, or you'll see some of it on Owl Creek Pass area. And this is just a cool place to check out, especially in the autumn, where you get nice views of Chimney and Courthouse Mountain, and on the backside of Owl Creek Pass, there's going to be some great views and hiking around there. And of course, there's also the hiking to the Blue Lakes area right below Mount Sneffels. Well, thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment. It really helps the channel out. 
or check out my map below or my other channel where I talk about weird and strange things all over the world.